there's just uh, breaking news coming in from France. We're bound to the pressure from Yellow West protesters. French government is set to announce the suspension of fuel tax hikes, which triggered massive unrest across the country. This is the latest that we are getting in from France. Remember, the protests have been taking place since quite some days now. It was being called the Yellow West protesters because the French government had announced fuel tax hikes just a few days ago and it had affected motorists the most. It was later on that uh, French ambulance drivers also joined the, the protests. It's called Yellow Vest protesters because it is the motorists who wear the Yellow Vest and hence it is called the Yellow Vest protesters. And the breaking news that's coming in at the moment is that after days of protests, the French government has finally bowed to the pressure and is set to announce the suspension of fuel tax hikes. Remember, it was this tax hike which had triggered massive unrest across the country. More details on this news story. I am joined in by our news correspondent, Oliver Whitefield, who is joining us live from France. Let's quickly go across to Oliver. Oliver, a very warm welcome. Uh, what is the latest that you're picking on the sources? We do hear that there might be a suspension on the hike in the tax fuel. Yes, that's right. Well, all through the night, Prime Minister Edouard Philippe has apparently said to have had emergency meetings to discuss the measures that he would take. It followed a full day of meetings on Monday where all 16 people from the opposition parties were invited to the Prime Minister's residence to discuss what measures they believe should be taken. Well, in the last few minutes, both AP, Reuters and AFP, so three sources on this, are saying that the government is now planning to issue a moratorium on the planned fuel increases in tax on the 1st of January. We're expecting that to come today from the Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe. We still haven't been given a timing as to when this will take place, but this will be a huge reversal of government policy. You only have to think to Macron's speech on the 27th of November, where he said that he will be sticking to those fuel tax increases come what may. Fast forward only a few days and now that is all being reversed if these sources are to be believed. So a huge U-turn by the government. Right. So you rightly mentioned that this is a huge U-turn after hearing the speech uh, during which, you know, uh, President Macron had actually clearly stated that there will be no reversal on, on, on this hike. But that also goes on to you know, actually reflect upon the gravity of this protest that's been taking place. Run our viewers through these Yellow West protests that have been taking place and what sort of an impact that has had not only on France, but in fact the government too. Well, it all started on November the 17th after a social media campaign to get people to go and blockade roads around the country. Now, that happened. There was two deaths as a result of that, and lots of people were injured, more than 500, according to those initial reports. The following week, though, the protesters were urged to come to Paris, and there was where we saw the first violent scenes on the Champs-Élysées, the most iconic streets in Paris, where windows were smashed up, where the police had to arrest a number of people in the 60s and 70s on that day, and there was violent skirmishes between protesters and police. Last week, or last Saturday on the 1st of December, the violence took an even more sinister turn by the account of the French mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo. She says the worst unrest that has been seen in the capital since 1968. This has seen 400 people arrested. We're seeing the first people going before the courts. Yesterday and today, three-month sentences being handed down in those first judgments. And what really started off as a protest against fuel price increases has now turned into a much wider, broader issue about things to do with how much the cost of living is in France, how much pension people have, how much money people have at the end of the month. And so this has really been a lightning rod for a lot of people who are disenfranchised with the government. Right. Only yesterday we saw ambulances blocking a central part of Paris.
Right, Oliver, you rightly mentioned that this also is, this protest, and that protest has been a sort of reflection uh, of, of, of the growing discontent towards the Macron government. What do you have to say about the government's current position in the country? Well, the government's current position, they've been trying to really test out policies over the last few days with the statements that they've been making. So on Monday, the finance minister, Bruno Le Maire, came out and said that really we could scrap the tax or we could cut back some of the taxes that we're imposing. But in order to do that, we're going to have to accelerate public spending cuts on services. Now, the French social care system is really well renowned in the country. People here love the fact that they can go to their hospitals, they have unemployment benefits. And so the thought that they were just going to replace the tax with a cut into another department really didn't wash well. And I think what the government has now seen is that it really has to take some drastic measures. It really has to try and appeal to voters because one of the biggest criticisms of French President Emmanuel Macron is that he's so out of touch with the electorate that he is bourgeois, he's a president of the rich, and he really doesn't have a clue about what people on the street want. And so this will be seen as an attempt to try and appease those yellow vest protesters and the other protesters who are now part of this group. But will it be enough? Because this group is now so diverse and there's so many different things that people want, it just might not be enough to quell fears and quell people's discontent. And so it'll be key to see what happens on Saturday, whether a new round of protests take place. The impact to the economy has already been huge. The finance, sorry, the Hoteliers Association told us yesterday 40% of hotel bookings have been cancelled or are down on what was usual for these weeks leading into Christmas. This is usually the busiest time of year for retailers. The Retail Association saying profits are down between right. 20 and 35%. So there are some key questions still to go. Absolutely, Oliver. Very, very rightly and very beautifully, eloquently put by you some very quick, uh, key questions that the French government actually has to answer and that these measures that they are going to take, will they be enough to calm the nationwide demonstrations that have been taking place for, for now? And as you rightly mentioned, Saturday is going to be a very pivotal day. Thank you so much, Oliver, for bringing us all the latest and adding your precious perspective to this news story.